Cheese. There you go. Munising beers. Sriracha Roy. Empty, of course. Good beer. Good beer. All right, today's. Uh, I'm brewing the Black Metal IPA. It's my own recipe. Um, I was trying to come up with a black IPA recipe. I couldn't quite get the ingredients I wanted, so I made one with the ingredients I could get. And it turned out bloody beautiful. So uh, I'm going to brew it again and uh, show you how I did it. Start with 45 litres of water. Maybe to about 75.9, 76 degrees. Fill it right up to the top. Mash tun ready to go. Just check the beer, Smith. I might have to raise it a bit. Um, my mash in temperature says 74.7. I always find I need to go to two degrees higher to get the right temperature to get my step temp of 67.66.7. So it says 74.7, so I'm going to have to go to 76.7. There's the grain bag. Doesn't look like there's much black in there. But uh, I assure you, there is enough. Right, so we're up to temp now. Got a little bit over, 76.8. It's also good to give your HRT a stir, just to get the water moving around, and make sure it's all even temperatures. See, as you can see, after I stirred it, it went down. <clears throat> it only usually takes one stir, one good stir or two, and things even out a bit. But meanwhile, I put a few extra liters. I usually fill up, fill up to my 45 liter mark. I put a few extra liters just so I can chuck it in and preheat the mash tun. Just a couple of liters, and I also open up my tap. Just lets the air out of the uh, manifold. That's enough, you don't need much for a preheat. I'll put the lid on that and it'll warm right up. Okay, so I've emptied the preheating water out. Don't forget to do that. You hate your teas up to temperature and I add, I need to add 16 litres or 15.9. That's close enough to 16 litres for me. There's 16 litres. You want to get the grain in as fast as you can. You don't lose much temp. Just mix it up as you put it in. A bit easier if you've got someone else to help, but you know, goodbye. all it takes. Set the lid on. What are we at? A 
I don't know if that can focus in there. I'll get it in the right spot. I don't know if you can see that. We're just about 66, 66 and a bit. That's good. That's where I want to be. I don't know if that shows up on there. Is it focusing? 66 and a bit. 66 and a bit. So now I'm just going to wrap that up in this quilt I've got it sitting on and leave it for an hour. So now that's wrapped up in the quilt. Meanwhile though, my, I don't know if you can focus on that. Meanwhile, my mash out water needs to be heated to 95.4 degrees. Again, I go a little bit hotter. So I'm gonna go about 97 for that. We don't have to put any more water in the HLT yet. So I've still got about 29 liters left. So I only need eight for mash out. So I'll just turn it up. To me 97. There goes the timer for my hour. Time to mash out. Mash out calls for 8.3 litres of water. My water's up to mash out temp. 97. I need to add. Oh, it smells good. Whack the lid back on. Leave that for another 10 minutes. I've hit it by mash out temp. It's going to focus. So that's good. So now I'm down to about 20 litres, which is enough for my uh, batch sparge. But unfortunately, we're still sitting at 97 degrees. So what I do is I just add cold water and I keep an eye on the temperature um, and try and get it to around the 75 degrees mash out temp order I want. I mean, uh, batch sparge temp order I want. In the end, I end up adding 10 liters. And I went a little bit low. 70 degrees but that won't take long they're 10 minutes for mash out that'll be up to uh, the batch sparge temp I need which is around 75.7 I've gone a little bit higher as usual um, just because the water cools down a little bit as it comes out the tap and into the esky just a degree all right mash out's finished it's been the 10 minutes so I'm just going to take some runnings out. Till it starts running clear. Doesn't usually take much. Just a litre or so. Turn that off. I'll grab a strainer. Just put it in the top like that. This one's pretty full this time. Probably don't even need the strainer. Anyway. 
pull that back through. Try not to disturb the grain bed. Still a few bits in there. Take a bit more. Okay, that's running clear now. That's all I have to do. Two litres. Then I have a bucket, nice clean bucket. Take my first runnings in. A bit fast. I might just slow that down a little bit. You don't want to go in too fast. You'll get channeling and things in your grain. Nice and dark. That'll take a while. Now before I did my back, <laughs> I used to fill this up as a 20 litre bucket. So nowadays, I stop halfway through, I put this into my boil pot, and then I keep going. My boil pot. Don't worry about the stuff on the side of aluminium pots. It's actually good that it's there apparently, so it acts like a little bit of a barrier. Not that I'm scared of aluminium, but uh, some people are. There goes the first half of the first runnings. And we continue on. Taking the second half of the first runnings. All right, we're just coming to the end of the first runnings. A little bit dripping out still, not much. Actually, that's the end. There's the grain bed. Now I just have to add 14 litres from the batch sparge. I'll give it a quick mix up. Not right down to the bottom. I don't want to stir up the grain bed too much, even though I have. <laughs> I'll put the lid back on. And I'll let that sit 
for another 10 to 15 minutes just for the grain bed to settle and the process now the batch page is finished is the same we'll take some runnings It might be less this time. I usually do another litre or so. That looked very good actually. I'll take a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. There's no grain coming through. So we start the second runnings. And it's the same process again. I'll stop halfway through, put it into the boil pot, and take the second half. Okay, I wasn't going to show this, but uh, there's halfway through the second runnings. Stop it. I'll put that in my boil pot and take the rest of it. Musing beer. Sriracha rye. Oh, looks dark on the camera. It's not dark. It's a nice light beer. Anyway. While I'm here brewing my Black Metal IPA. How dare Craig Chu be on playing Super Tramp? I just turn him on. I think I'll turn him off because this is a black metal IPA. Cheers. It's good beer, this Munising Rye. I'll put a link down for his uh, recipe for this too. Why does it look so dark on screen? Mm -mm. Anyway, second round is finished. My boil pot's nearly full. Uh, I'll just check the levels. I have a, a dipstick. I don't know if you can see the marks on it. You probably can't. Uh, that's 30 litres. I want 32 litre boil uh, to get down to my 23 and I have a little bit of loss in my chiller and the bottom of my boil pot. Okay. We're at about, what's that? Uh, 27 litres there. The rest of my second running thing. Now I've got to be careful here because sometimes I get a little bit too much, only by a litre or so. I'll just check that again. Uh, we're getting close. I had a little bit more. I'm nearly perfect on this batch by the looks of it. That's about 32 litres. That's what I want. We have a, uh, with the two elements I have, we have a fair degree of boil off, 15%. Uh, that's why I need 32 litres. Um, this sort of has to be adjusted to your boil off rate. Uh, I've got the, the amount I want, I'll give it a stir.
a clean spoon and now's the time you can take your pre-boil gravity reading now I've done a video on this before uh, you don't want to take a gravity reading with a hydrometer because this is very hot and um, the heat in this can dislodge the little bit of paper that's in your hydrometer uh, a lot of them are stuck in with hot glue into place and this sort of heat and you, you'll get a you'll get a bad reading that's what you want to use you only need a couple of drops refractometer see how we go Even with the fractometers, you really don't want your wart hot. But the fact that you're only using a drop or two, by the time it's sat in this uh, pipette for this minute or 30 seconds or whatever it's been, and by the time I just drop two or three drops under the refractometer, it's cooled down enough to get a decent rating. Okay, let's see how we went. And I did really well. It's a... Oh. It's about 44.5. 1.044. I was after 1.045. Oh, it's pretty bloody close to 0.045. It's a bit hard at the moment because there's not much light in the sky with all the clouds. Actually, yeah, it is closer. I'm just about right on the dot. Which is really good. And for my system and the way I do it, uh, that's great. Time to uh, turn the elements on. Get it boiling. It usually takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get it up to the boil. Just about at the boil now. Got the hot break happening. I'll let it boil for probably five or ten minutes um, to try and get as rid of much as that'll fall back into the beer before I make my uh, first 60 minute hop edition. I won't uh, video all the hop editions. Um, the recipe will be in the link, but it's uh, 22 grams of Columbus for 60 minutes. 20 grams of Columbus at 15 with the Irish moss tablet in there to clear it. 30 grams of Centennial at 10, 30 grams of Cascade at 5, and 20 grams of Centennial at Flow Mount. It's not very exciting watching me put the hops in at all the different times. A lot of hops for a black metal IPA. Uh. Just added the first edition. Didn't get any overflow, which is good. I'll set my timers. Uh, 45 minutes until the next edition. The boil's going. I've got my chiller here hooked up. That taps turn off and there's still, I ran some star sand through there earlier that, and it's actually still full of star sand I'll have a little uh, tap on there so it's still chockers full of star sand uh, what I do I mean the star sand isn't 100% necessary it's just another safety measure because what I'll do is I'll unhook this and I'll let the star sand run out uh, And what I'll do now that that's been boiling for a while, I'll run some hot water through it. I'll hook this back up. Run some hot water through it. Um, just to help make sure it's sanitised inside. I still haven't hooked the hose up, the cold water, which goes around the outside. I'll hook those up in a sec. So the other thing I do 
while the wort's boiling away there, and I've still got some time, is uh, sanitise the fermenter, of course. Got the bits and pieces in the bottom. Got some starch in. I'll just let them sit there in there for a couple of minutes. Put the tap together. Put it in. Give it a shake around, and it'll be ready to go. All right, we're just about to my uh, 15 minute edition, which is Columbus, 20 grams, my Irish Moss tablet. We're boiling away. I've passed some hot wort. It's still in there through the uh, chiller. Make sure it's sanitised. That can stay in there for these 15 minutes. It'll be fine. I've also hooked the, the hoses up. That ends a drain. Oh, well, there goes my timer. The other one is going to get connected to the tap, which connects here. There's the other addition. Oh, it's steamy. Next edition is a 10 minute and a 5 minute and then a flame out. Just over 1 minute left of the boil. Boiling away nicely. Nice hard boil. I've got my flame out edition ready to go in. I skipped a couple of editions but it's all in the recipe. So uh, in, you can see that over there, 40 seconds, I'll just turn off the power and add this. My timer just went off for the end of the boil, unplug the elements. And my flame out addition. clean spoon, although the water's still probably hot enough to sanitise, I've had that sitting in uh, some star sand, and I, I just start the whirlpool, which is just spinning it around, get a nice whirlpool happening, that Irish mosh hopefully has done its job. Shouldn't be scraping the sides out. It probably sounds worse than I actually am. There you go. Cover it. Uh, now I'll let that sit there for five, ten minutes. So the whirlpool takes effect and I get a bit of uh, flavour from the steeping of the um, flavour and aroma from the steeping of the last edition. Tremendous setup, been sanitised. Hose is in there from the chiller. It's ready to go. All we're going to do is turn the hose on outside. Get the water running. Hose is running, that's the output. You don't need that much water coming out. It's not much. The hose is going in on the outside of the water. So it goes in nice and cold, chills the wart, and comes out where the wart goes in. Okay, all ready to go. Turn the tap on. Get a little bit of flow through. You don't want it too fast, or your chiller won't work. Uh, I can probably be a bit faster than that. It all comes down to uh, the ground temp that your water is. As it's pretty cold at the moment because it's uh, the end of winter. So I can go pretty fast. 
don't know if you can see it. Probably hear it. Now the brew's nearly ready. I'm just sanitizing my airstone. And some star sand. Just leave that in there while the rest of the beer chills down, which is still happening. A bit slow. We're nearly there, hope you can see. It's a bit dark in here. Getting dark. You can see in here the job the whirlpool does. Maybe. Look at that. It's a bit dark too. And the pile of hops in the middle. And where my pickup tube is, it's virtually clear of matter. Of course there'll be a little bit to get through. But the whirlpool, along with the Irish moss or whatever type of clearing agent you try to use, uh, works well. End of brew. Okay, it's a bit dark out here. But I've got my full fermenter. Just there. Uh, it's chilled down to pitching temp. It worked well today. It's good. Now I've just got to stick the uh, aerator in for half hour. And like you couldn't see that because I needed my hand, but now the air rate is in there. I'll leave that for about half an hour. It's just a tiny little pump. If you use an oxygen bottle, oh, and there's a uh, what they call a syringe filter. And that goes down to the air stone. If you use an oxygen uh, actual canister but you need a, a regulator as well uh, you can do it in you know when people say from 5 to, to you know 15 20 seconds 30 seconds and you're done but it takes about uh, takes a bit longer when you're just using an air pump oh it's dark now beer's chilled all I gotta do is pitch the yeast in half an hour when I'm finished aerating it and uh, cheers I hope you enjoy if you make it, you will. The Black Metal IPA. Cheers. Kelly, how do we get this makeup off? <laughs> Black Metal IPA. <laughs>